Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. Today I'm back in the laboratory here in Southwest Florida. It is still raining outside, but today's a regular lab day for me anyway. So I wanted to share some things with you and what I wanted to uh, tell you about is, uh, again, it's related to my background and history, but also the type of work that you do in the laboratory. So my, my background is as a tissue culture, transformation molecular biology scientist and that's what I bring into this. I retired from that main role at the university and I but I still do a little bit of that in the work that I do in the laboratory here in flasking but also as I grow my orchids and I and you really need to do proper science in order to move things forward. Uh, and again, I did that for so long, it's become a part of me. I think it was actually a part of me before I even started doing research. Um, but you have, to, you have to move things forward the right way uh, and, and evaluate things the right way before you can move things forward. So most of what I have around me here, these are, these are flasks. Uh, and these are these are pretty nice flasks that I'm uh, growing in the laboratory on pretty much a standard medium. But the medium is something that I'm still optimizing. So this is my own medium formulation. Um, you could buy something similar from a lot of different uh, a lot of different media companies, um, but my media formulation I think gives a lot nicer growth than many other medium formulations. And what I'm doing is what I continue to do is optimize. Now, when you optimize, you can't just say, "Oh, I somebody told me that this is a better component than this," or "I'm trying this instead." You have to compare old versus new, and in many cases you have to try a number of different media in order to define what works best. Now, this is, this is a trap that you can get into if you do an experiment and you find that this component at this level works good and then you move on and do another test and you find that this additional component looks good. You, you really shouldn't go back and evaluate the first thing after you optimize the second thing. It, you can get stuck in a trap, but the right combination takes a lot of effort. Now, there are programs that will tell you you don't have to try everything out there at all different you know, combinations, it just gets too involved. Uh, but what you can do is try a few things at once, compare that, and then move on and try a few things. But it's not a good idea to just keep on going back and forth and, and, and say after you optimize point B, you then have to go back and re-optimize point A under point B conditions. I hope I'm not boring you too much with this. But this is, what, this is what you do, and this is what I do in the laboratory. You see a lot of people that do this that, again, don't evaluate things properly. And what you have to do is evaluate the old way, the new way, and then things in between, ideally. Um, why am I showing you this? Well, uh, again, these are media. This is a medium. This is a replate medium that I developed for orchids. And I should mention also that I have developed media. I have a medium named after me that you can buy from the media supply companies. Uh, and I developed it for soybean. It's a, it's a great medium. It's a tremendous improvement over what was existing. Um, but it does, you know, it, it did take a little effort to develop it and, and optimize it and do things appropriately. And this was in the laboratory when I was working and I had other people working with me and there was a, it was a lot of hands and a lot of eyes to do this medium optimization. Um, right now, I don't quite have that. I, I have helpers but it's not quite the same thing as what I used to be. And what, I'm, what happens is I'm being pushed to move these flasks forward. So I put a lot of effort into these flasks and getting them nice as they are with nice root growth and nice shoot growth. And it's, um, sometimes it's challenging to do the science when you have to push things forward. All right, let me get to a few things. So what I have is uh, I'm, I'm still, I continue to continue to do optimization of all different steps. So seed germination, uh, the main step that I'm focusing on is replating, getting the orchids to undergo the rapid growth after you replate the seedlings after they have germinated. And that's again where I'm putting the most 
effort. Um, one of the components that's added during that process, during the replate, is banana. And it's actually banana baby food uh, that was suggested to me by Fred Clark of Sunset Valley Orchids. And, and Fred, I've told you this before, I'll say it again, thank you so much for suggesting that because it works well. Now, I hated adding baby formula because it's what, what in the tissue culture area, it's called an undefined media addendum. And it is banana, but you don't know what is in the banana that is doing this. And you think, oh, okay, bananas are high in calcium. I've evaluated replacing the banana baby food that I normally have with high potassium. Doesn't work. It's the sugar. No, I've tried evaluating the different sugars. And from what I've seen, the, the adding those additional sugars in place of the banana, that doesn't do it. Well, I thought it was another component that was in the baby food formula, and that is um, lemon juice. And so the major component is lemon, and lemon juice is citric acid. That actually makes sense that that might work. Didn't work. Uh, it actually was detrimental. So the banana baby food, the citric acid that's in the lemon juice, in the baby food, may actually be detrimental for orchid replate. All right, so why am I telling you this? Well, the thing is, I'm getting excited because I'm close to, I think, maybe figuring out what is in the banana. That it didn't, it, it makes sense when you think back on it, but I'm not sure. I, I wouldn't have thought of it myself. So I had some, I had some colleagues. So I had uh, Robert Palmer at Palmer Orchids. Uh, we were having this conversation and he suggested uh, a really interesting uh, some uh, interest, interesting combination of nutrients that may be contributing to this. And, and so I have, this is to give you an idea, so from here, from here on over, you can't see it, but to the wall, um, I've, these are, all of these flasks here contain this, um, uh, various combinations of the banana baby food, some other, there's no banana in, then there's banana baby food, and then there's other, other components that may be useful, but from what here all the way to the wall, I've evaluated a number of different medium components that I've added to the, the, the medium that's in the flasks to see if I could figure out what of these components is beneficial. And I'm pretty excited um, that I think I may be figuring out what it is. Now, I'm not going to share that with you yet, uh, but I just wanted to give you kind of a general overview of what I'm doing. It, it might not work. I'm, I'm not optimized yet, but if, if it does work, and I'll probably know in maybe a couple of months, I'll, I'll know if this works. But what I do want to show you is something that I do have results on, and this was something that I'd set up a few months ago. So these are, and I'll get some better video of this and insert it. So these are dishes of ghost orchid, and these are um, wild collected under permit um, ghost orchids that will be returned to the area that they came from. But these are native um, ghost orchids from southwest Florida. And what happened on this is I noticed that I was getting some unusual uh, germination and then the first time that I did this, uh, when I transferred the orchid seedlings, the very small seedlings, to my replate medium, they just didn't do well at all. So what I tried was something different. I tried transferring, just subculturing them to the seed germination medium or transferring half of them to the replate medium. So this is just a very simple experiment but it's one medium versus the other medium side by side, and the results are usually, usually it doesn't work like quite this well, but the results are striking. So um, these orchids did not like being subcultured on the germination medium. They germinated just fine. I, say, I think what happened with the first time that I did this, I had a bad batch of seed, also with ghost orchid, but it was very limited number of seeds. Again, they were wild, uh, it was wild collected, very low numbers. When you collect from the wild, you can only collect a small amount, so I had very low numbers. The seeds just, it must have been from a self. The, the seedlings that were coming out of were just not very vigorous. Um, and this, this is a different scenario because 
these were collected under permit. There were a lot, a lot more seeds that were shared with me, and I had a lot more to work with. And when you have a lot of seeds to work with, and when you have a lot of plants to work with, like what I have here, then you can do real experiments. And that's the exciting thing about this and what I do. Um, but what happened is, uh, again, initially I thought, okay, maybe they should be subcultured on the germination medium. It's a different salt formulation. It's a different formulation overall. And here you can see there, there's a huge difference between the orchids that are growing on the seed germination medium and the replay medium. So the replay medium, um, it's a little different. It gives really enhanced root growth, which is for ghost orchid, which is what you have. <laughs> it's what the plant is, is a collection of roots. Uh, but you know, all orchids, the roots are the secret to growth. But this medium that I developed for replating gives incredible root growth with most of my other orchids and it does the same thing for these ghost orchids. I didn't see it at the initial time because my, my seedling numbers and my, uh, my plant numbers were so low and I couldn't do a regular experiment, but this time I could. And the results again are striking. A lot of times in this area, you, the, the results aren't, aren't really very pronounced. Um, and this is nice because this is clear. There is no doubt in my mind that the replate medium is much better for subsequent um, ghost orchid growth than the seed germination medium. So it was, again, it was transferred to fresh medium, fresh medium, two different media, and the results are just strikingly clear. All right, so again, what that tells me is that, you know, in this case, the experiment was done properly, side-by-side -side comparisons, one was way better than the others. Other, sometimes you, you know, again, you can't quite see a difference. Sometimes the differences are subtle. So when you do experiments like this, what I like to do is kind of have, have an idea in my mind of what things are gonna look like. A lot of times you can do preliminary experiments, small scale, uh, before you scale up and, and get, get larger in order to really focus in on what you think is going to have the greatest impact. And then that, that kind of influences how you set up the experiment and it influences how you collect your data and make conclusions with your results. All right, so um, again, I wanted to share with you a little bit of information about tissue culture media optimization. Uh, again, I've spent a lot of time in my career doing this and I'll uh, continue to do this. Um, just so you know, I have spent, uh, I mentioned soybean in the past. I've also done, I've done tissue culture on so many different plants. Right now I'm focusing on orchid. Uh, my first plant that I, I tissue cultured was actually um, radish <laughs> I spent. Uh, and then I, I became a cotton tissue culture expert. Um, but I've also worked on soybean, corn, wheat, rice, uh, Chinese yam, garlic, African violet, uh, a number of different plants, and they all respond differently, but they all, you can do optimization of different protocols for all these different plants. So uh, yay that I'm figuring out ghost orchid. Hopefully yay that I'm gonna figure out what is the secret component and banana baby food that gives really this incredible growth in the orchid replay medium. All right, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did and you wanna keep on seeing them, it would help me out if you can click on like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. All right, that's all I have for today. Again, I hope you enjoyed it and happy propagating.